A firefighter is injured while battling a fire at a three-story office building in Sugar House. The fire broke out early this morning in the area of 11th East and 2400 South. News specialist Garna Mejia joins us live from the scene where firefighters are also battling sweltering temperatures, Garna. That's right, you guys. You know, I have a hard time saying good evening because it feels like noon. It's hot for all of us. Imagine being these guys out here. They're working to put out the last of the hot spots and also working to repair and replace the four power poles that went down last night. Now, this is what's left of a 20 office, three story building. Early this morning, flames erupted, overpowering a three-story office building and spilling over into a neighboring apartment complex where at least six people are displaced. When flames impinge right on glass, the glass will shatter pretty quickly and allow even more heat into the building. Firefighters work through the night to stop the flames from spreading onto the dry brush next to the highway, working to establish a perimeter around the office building. And unfortunately, it's a complete loss. Business owners still processing the loss and not yet ready to speak on camera tell us the office building housed several small practices specializing in mental health services, all reduced to ashes and smoke. One person reported as many as 20 small businesses. Uh, and one business that's been here for several decades that I know of for sure. Today, firefighters faced more heat. They were forced to rotate crews and work shorter cycles inside the 100 plus degree rubble. So the heat slows us down. So we're going to have structural firefighting turnouts on, and we're in there in the middle of the heat, moving heavy debris and dragging heavy hose lines. We might only be able to work for 15 or 20 minutes at a time that we have to take a break. It's why firefighters are asking everyone to do their part and help them out. So firefighters can do a really uh, tremendous amount of work, but were people. Now, the cause of this fire remains under investigation. Last night, as you guys heard Dan explaining, one firefighter was taken to the hospital and treated for smoke inhalation. Right now, as you can see, they're working to restore that power. They've got uh, two of the poles up already. Um, what they are telling us, however, is they're asking everyone to avoid the area if at all possible, give them that cushion to work with. They also asked us to send a thank you to the rep from Salt Lake Regional Hospital that brought them some pizza earlier today. That's one positive. It will send it back to you. So sad to see that devastation out there. Thanks a lot. Garnet Mejia live for us tonight.